ex views expressed in presentation made at webinar or other webinars are those of the speakers speaker and not necessary of this presentation of the presentations or the presence does not constitute an endorse endorsement of the vendor or speaker is speaker's view products or services and we, we at isha jaipur congratulates all the attendees and all the members for 40 years of celebration these are some upcoming events and conferences uh one is artificial lighting simulation and its role in hvac design uh it is on 27th december 2020 second is all about energy policies in india cold room or storage design akresa 23rd january 2020 30 days training program on hvc skill development you can contact mr yuvraj fernandes for detail these are uh, detail of uh, uh, membership fees how we can uh, uh, join ishre who is not uh, ishre member yet uh, new membership for 3 year is uh, total of 5310 including gst uh, we have option of new membership for 10 years to total is 10620 and for students we have option 550 including gst i would like uh, to uh, suggest all the members who is not yet is a member can join from our website easily now i would like to introduce our today's speaker mr m ganeshan for our uh, today's dl program why compressors fail mr ganeshan is based in bangalore currently handling all india services and technical support for the commercial applied service division of carrier air conditioning and refrigeration limited one of the leading hvac manufacturing company in the country he started his, his career 35 years back with voltas limited a leading manufacturing and contracting company in india during his 26 year association with voltas he worked in various position in many branches of india thereafter moved to carrier corporation 10 years back and has been handling all india technical and service support operations he has traveled to various countries and has been trained in many new generation hvac products like centrifugal screw and absorption chiller specialist in handling variable frequency drive and high voltage range of chillers mr ganeshan speaks and writes often on h ac and r subjects double shooting being his favorite topic he has written many service related articles for the ishre training programs he is also one of the guest faculties for the ishre institute of excellence bangalore chapter i would like to uh, thank you for accepting our uh, today's dl and uh, now uh, i would like to hand over the uh, platform to mr ganeshan please yeah yeah, yeah. thank you ram
uh, I hope everybody can see these uh, slides. Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. Yeah, thank you very much and uh, good evening and welcome to you all uh, for today's uh, technical session, why the compressor failed. In today's uh, scenario, rather current scenario, where many establishments and buildings are restarting the AC systems after many months stoppage. Okay, we, we all know, okay, many, every stoppage when we restart, there has, there'll be definitely a lot of starting issues will be there. But Ishray and Ashray has really worked out with the specialist and have issued many policy guidelines now how you should restart a system to avoid any premature failures now. We know any issue, be it anything, it on evaporator or even on condensers, ultimately it will affect the compressor only now. So today let's see now how understand then what, why, and how it can make any compressors fail. How do we prevent this? Okay, so let's go it. So today learning objective is now so let's see about the functions of compressor. Everybody knows, but let's go through it now. Uh, different type of compressors and this application. Then we also see the, how the refrigeration system affect the compressor operation. We also see the importance of compression ratios, the compression lubrication, the causes and cures of compressor problem. And we also see the increasing the life and efficiency of the compressor through a smart operation and maintenance. Everybody knows now what is the job of a compressor. It's basically a pump, uh, just out of the, like our human body and out of system. It um, uh, takes the refrigerant from the low suction and uh, discharge into the high pressure. So in the process now, it raises the suction temperature to the above temperature so that it, it can give up the heat like air or the water in the condenser. So in a typical uh, refrigeration uh, cycle, we have three major components everybody knows compressor condenser evaporator be it one ton and of course a flow control it may be a one ton air conditioning up to 10000 tons the funda remains same once you understand this funda you can troubleshoot or you can find out what are the reasons and everything in that so here in a simple refrigeration systems now the compressor draws low suction low temperature gas from the evaporator then it compresses and it send it to condenser it could be an air cooled one or water cooled one and, and, and then make it condense then the condensed liquid goes into the evapor evaporator before evaporator the high pressure high liquid then when it passes through the uh, evaporator the expansion wall it is try to change its state so thereby the low temperature, low pressure goes, then it can give up the heat to the operator, thereby doing the refrigeration. This is a simple saturated cycles now. If you see a baseball, we call that is basically a baseball ground. It's like a one side system. See, half of the expansion wall, it up to your entering of the compressors is the suction side. From the discharge side, it goes on to the entrance of the meeting. So we call low side and high side. So Basically, compressor is 50% suction, 50% discharge, expansion all 50%, 50% discharge. But only high side will be totally evaporator will be condensers, and low side will be completely evaporated. A typical walk-in cooler or any systems, if you see, uh, this is how the temperature, because you should know what is really happening in a systems. In a simple systems now, what are the temperature which happened? Normally, a 50 PSI, when it comes to 280 psi, the discharge saturation temperature will be very high. That means it will be superheated. The superheated vapor, when it comes to the condenser, it gives up the heat, desuperheat, then it comes back and slowly, by the time end of the condenser, air cooled or water cooled, it becomes a complete liquid. This liquid high pressure goes into the evaporator. There, the pressure reduces taking place in the process. It gives up the heat. The liquid and vapor passes through the evaporator. Then it gives up the heat to the either to the air or to the water. If it is a chiller, it gives up the water. So thereby gaining all the liquid will become vapor. Then only the vapor is supposed to come back into the compressor. Here I'm underlining is now only vapor should supposed to come back to our compressor. Why? Because 
all our compressor refrigeration compressors are designed to compress only vapor no liquid you know we'll 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 examine we'll find out now what will happen if a liquid enter into your compressors now so so this is where a system balance should, should take place the metering should everything should function normal then nothing will happen only when any abnormal happen everything becomes problem so let's see now so similar thing is happening in a water cooled chiller it will be same thing now water enters 5444 in evaporator same thing air in water cooled 85 uh, condenser water entering and leaving 95 the compressor remains same, it uh, do the same function over there now. So let's see the type of compressors being used in our HVAC industries now. So we all know, reciprocating, old veterans still going strong in some of the places, especially in the cold rooms and cold storages and many places, and including some shipping. Scroll, all, all the small ranges, rotary, screw is medium, so it, uh, it starts from, we will see how much, what is the tonnage it can operate. A centrifugal, of course, all basically all for all the bigger insulation and bigger requirement. So we can um, put these two types, basically a positive displacement and non-positive displacement. Positive displacement is nothing but the uh, basically a screw, receipt, score, all comes into that category. So there, the positive displacement, the compressor, refrigerant vapor compresses in a confined place. Whereas centrifugal, if you see, the rotary action is converted into kinetic energy. So that's it, only two difference between these two compressor technology. The type, we can see that how this is how we classify. Positive displacement is receipt, rotary, orbital, then screws, scroll. The only dynamic is the centrifugal one. If you see the capacity and the application of a different type of compressor, so centrifugal start with a higher range. Basically, it's right from minimum 200 to 10,000 tons it can go. A rotary, of course, from 40 tons, it can go up as high as 800 tons chillers now. Rotary scroll, it's very smaller range. It can go up to only 30, 40 tons. Rotary vane, very small and 10 tons. Uh, reciprocating, you all know, is up to from 10, 10 to, it can go as high as up to 150 tons now. So this is how it is classified. Welded hermetic, semi-hermetic, so you, you can know up to, it, it can go up to, so the classification of the compressor, if you see how it is driven, it's a drive speed. It is basically, is it a constant speed or is it a variable speed? Today, nowadays, earlier it is only constant speed. Nowadays, we can, most of the places we, we can use a variable speed for compressors, you know, for air handling unit, everything we can use it now. Again, we can classify the number of stages. Is it single stage, two stage or multi-stage? The drive types, is it a motor driven or is it engine or belt? The structure, how it is structured, is it open type, semi-hermetic, or hermetically totally sealed? Okay. Yeah, I can also classify it as a cooling method. There are air cooled, water cooled, and oil cooled. Okay. So then, if you can classify it further into lubrication method, like is it a smaller unit with a splash lubrication, then forced lubrication, and now current scenario is there with oil free. Okay. So these are all the some. Some of the types how we have this crawl, rotary, centrifugals, reciprocating, and the screws. So this is the old veteran with the uh, open type, direct driven, or the semi-hermetic with uh, uh, both coupled together and the hermetically totally sealed, but this is a reciprocating. Okay. So let's go into the scroll compressor. How the scroll compressor basically what it does, it draws refrigeration from the outside fixed scroll, then compressor in between the fixed and the orbital scroll. So, and finally compressor into the, from drawn from outside, compress and putting into center, then the hard discharge gaps come out. This is how it function, we call the scroll compressors. Scroll compressors generally use it on many applications now, nowadays. Then we, another type we have is a rotary compressor. This is rotary compressor, but here you have fixed casing known as a cylinder. Then the vein only splits the space between the cylinder and the rotating piston in two sections. That means suction and discharge. Okay. As the rolling piston rotates, if you can see that when it, it rotates, then first suction, then it becomes drawn into here, then it goes into the go into discharge side. So this is how it's a single vein and multi vein. It or but it's called this is called a rotary compressors. Then comes into the screw compressors, current present uh, technology, screw compressors. Screw compressors is nothing like, but 
two rotors. Now there are earlier we had two rotors. Now the technology has come into tri rotors. That means earlier with the one male, one female. That means male and female. We call this here. Okay. But whereas if you see the present uh, scenarios, uh, we have also tri rotors. That means the center one is a male. Then you have top and bottom. If you see that this is two female. That means tri rotor we call them. Okay. So this is also currently available, but here the here the compression is taking place through uh, forced by meshing these rotors when it when the suction goes into the here by the time it comes out the end of the thing now it become completely compressed here. So this is how it now the suction gas of 14 PSC or 35 PSG whatever it designed for application when it comes here then by the time it goes into the top to the uh, rotary so it mesh we call that is mesh and then it goes into the discharge side and comes back into our centrifugal compressors centrifugal because by the virtue of its huge large volumes can handle the refrigerant can handle the refrigerant pressure uh, vapor can handle it this now so here it's now the basic component if you can see that the guide vanes are there like a wall and then we have an impeller then it passes through the impeller high speed and goes into the volume. If there are the centrifugal again, like we have explained now, it can be direct driven, uh, that means open type, or it, uh, like a semi hermetic now here, where the, the complete rotor itself, uh, rare, uh, stator itself is uh, the part of the rotor itself is a shaft, then high speed, then low, uh, low speed, then coupled here, and then driven here now. Uh, generally, it's a forced oil pump will be there for because of the high temperature, high. Uh, pressure application here. Okay, so generally we have in a compressor, there are three major uh, component will be there: impeller, a diffuser, and the volute function. So basically, the the low pressure will come into the eye of the uh, impeller, then it passes through because of the high rotating speed. So the the velocity is getting increased. High velocity gas when it goes and passes through the diffuser. Then here only that it's converted. That means that high velocity is converted into the high pressure. That means so by the time it comes out of the uh, the we call the discharge volume. So then the pressure is increases. Then it goes into the condenser, thereby giving the heat. So this is how a centrifugal chiller, like a typical uh, pumps or normal pumps. Okay. Uh, this is how the operating pressures will be there in an, any normal simple saturated systems here. So oh, we know that compressor efficiency generally only depend upon two things. One is effective operation and a good maintenance now. But before that, now around a couple of years, that means around uh, two decades back, a lot of compressors came back to, uh, to the uh, uh, workshop and uh, people really worried that what's really happening there. Then the a team formed between the manufacturer, the design, and uh, the service people and the installation people all put together. Then they we started analyzing the return compressors. Why the compressors is failing? Then you will be surprised now. See, no manufacturers will manufacture a compressors to fail. Nobody can sustain. Okay. So even in spite of that, if it is failing, is something really causing? That means something happening. Usko kuch hota hai. Then only it is it is failing. So then we will see that. It's, then the result of dangling it, this is the cause of failure. Yeah, everybody think of oh, anything failure, okay, electrical go for dal do. It's a kuch nahi hai. Mechanical, ubi nahi hai. Mechanical, hai electrical, hai kuch. That means maybe around 30, 40 percent hai. But actually, jada hai, maximum is there system service ko for hai, our misdiagnosis. This is what the pakka research and development turn ka means ko for hai. Then further wo classification करने के बाद कोई भी compressor fail हो रहा है वो किसका reason आज का कारण ये seven reason में आ जाएगा whether it is reciprocating है screw compressor है screw scroll है कोई भी compressor है अगर कुछ है if you do the really root cause analysis तो इसका out of seven reason में एक एक ना कुछ एक ना कुछ or maybe multiple or chain reaction ये तीनों Milke or the egg milke or koi bhi milke, everything become ultimately lead into the compressor failure. So let's go into one by one. 
लैक ऑफ लुब्रिकेशन एवरीबडी नोज मैकेनिकल में कोई ऑल हाई स्पीड कंप्रेसर है एवरीथिंग सो अगर ऑल आर लुब्रिकेटेड है विथ अ वेरी स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ लुब्रिकेशन ऑयल है तो अगर नेचुरली ऑयल बराबर पहुंच नहीं रहा है स्पेशली ऑन दी लुब्रिकेशन सरफेस सो नेचुरली इट बिकम बट क्यों नहीं जा रहा है सो धर आर ये इसका कारण है सो इफ यू सी दैट नो हरिजोंटल ट्रैप्स है मतलब वो अगर इंसुलेशन टाइम बराबर नहीं किया वो साइसिंग बराबर नहीं किया तो इट कैन हैपन वर्टिकल ट्रैप्स बोलते हैं मतलब वॉट एवर ऑयल गोस इट हैज टू कम बैक लॉस ऑफ चार्ज बोलते हैं कंप्रेसर कंप्रेसर ऑयल किधर होना चाहिए कंप्रेसर होना चाहिए बट क्यों नहीं इधर नहीं होता है बिकॉज अपना रेफ्रिजरेटर और गैस हमेशा मिक्स हो जाते हैं ऑलमेज स्पेशली मिक्सिंग हो जाते हैं एट हाई डिस्चार्ज तो किधर ये अलग अलग होता है इट इज अलग कंप्लीटली कंप्लीटली सेपरेट होता है अपना एवोपरेटर में तो एटलीस्ट लो लो टेम्परेचर वेन इट गोस इन लो टेम्परेचर वो इधर अलग होके तो उसके बट नॉर्मली जो ऑयल जा रहा है वो वापस आना चाहिए फंडामेंटल यही है ऑयल लिविंग मस्ट इक्वल टू ऑयल रिटर्निंग जो हमेशा ऑयल जाएगा कोई बंद नहीं कर सकते बट जो जाता है तो उसको वापस आना चाहिए तो दैट इज वेयर ये पाइपिंग डिजाइन है तो इसका जरा साइज है और हरिजोंटल ट्रैप ग्रुप है वो सब बराबर होना चाहिए अगर पक्का डिजाइन हो इट शुड कम जनरली मैन्युफैक्चर करने के टाइम नो प्रॉब्लम अब जनरली इट शुड कम बैक बट वेर एज देर आर मेनी प्लेसेस वेर वी डू द डिजाइनिंग ऑफ दो कैंड ऑफ थिंग एट साइट कंडीशन तो देर वी फाउंड मेनी प्लेसेस ये भी कारण हो जाता है दी साइज ऑफ द पाइपिंग और द ट्रैप्स देन रीजन है जो ऑयल जा रहा है नहीं आ रहा है बिकॉज ऑयल इसका रेफ्रिजरेंट के साथ वापस आना चाहिए तो वेन एवर जो इसका रेफ्रिजरेंट लो रेफ्रिजरेशन वेलासिटी बोलते हैं सक्शन का सक्शन गम कम हो गया तो इट इज अनेबल टू लिफ्ट द ऑयल को खींच के नहीं लेके आ सकते तो देन ऑयल उधर रह जाएगा कंप्रेसर में ऑयल कम हो जाएगा सो so ऑटोमेटिकली ट्रिप होगा एक दो बार ट्रिप होगा बट इफ इट इज यू नॉट टेकिंग सफिशियंट एक्शन तो ऑटोमेटिकली थर्ड टाइम तो ऑटोमेटिकली इट सीज हो जाएगा so these are all the reasons basically for low load hai traps hai piping error hai okay so another reason bolte hain flooding hai flooding is nothing but so continuously slowly thoda thoda bahut liquid compressor mein jo aa raha hai wo bolte hain flooding hai because generally we apan pehle mein bol diya actually our compressors are designed for only vapor compression no liquid agar liquid aa gaya आवर कंप्रेसर्स एनी रेजिड कोटिंग और एनी कंप्रेसर्स नॉर्मली जो आपको मालूम है सक्शन में भी सेवेंटी फाइव एड डिस्चार्ज में भी टू एटी फाइव थ्री हंड्रेड डिपेंडिंग अपन अपना रेफ्रिजरेंट है बट अगर लिक्विड आ गया कंप्रेसर में लिक्विड वैन देन लिक्विड दिस वैन इट इज कंप्रेस वैन द प्रेशर कैन गो एज हाई एज दो हजार पी एस तक जा सकता है लिक्विड वैन द लिक्विड बिकॉज द लिक्विड डेंसिटी इज वेरी हाई एंड वेन इट इज कंप्रेस इट कैन डैमेज कुछ भी कोई भी पिस्टन है उसका मे बी स्क्रॉल है वी कैन सी एवरीथिंग इट कैन डैमेज दैट इज वाई वी हैव सो मच ब्यूटिफुल कंट्रोल ऑन एक्सपेंशन वॉल मे बी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एक्सपेंशन वॉल समथिंग सो दैट इट प्रॉपरली जो लिक्विड जा रहा है अब अप टू एवोपरेटर एंड तक होना चाहिए इसके बाहर नहीं आना चाहिए सो दिस इज वेयर फ्लडिंग शुड बी कंप्लीटली अवॉइडेड अगर आप साइड ग्लास हो अगर सम ऑफ दिस कंप्रेसर मे बी आई साइड ग्लास अगर आप देखेंगे इसके ऊपर जो बोलते हैं फोमिंग बोलते हैं अगर फोमिंग बोलते हैं एवरीबडी थिंक अच्छा अच्छा रूबिक हाई ऑयल है तो ऑयल तो ठीक है तो ऑयल है वाई वाई ब्यूटिफुल लिक्विड इज हेयर बट ऐसा नहीं है मेन एवर यू सी दिस ये डेंजरस है इसको इमीडिएटली यू शुड सी दैट बाई वाई इट इज हैपनिंग फोमिंग कैन हैपन ओनली वैन लिक्विड एंटर इन टू ऑयल so we will out thoda piche da ke dekh lenge iske bara so flooding is again lack of refrigerant vaporization low load low air flow matlab agar a simple apna air conditioning in indoor air indoor ac unit mein split unit mein agar apna filter agar proper cleaning nahi kiya agar it is completely choked kya ho raha hai the velocity that mean air is ko upar jayega if it is that become less so that mean it is unable to pick up the heat to jo but liquid is jata rehta hai wo liquid kitha jayega automatically come back to your compressor ek simple maintenance somebody is not doing a proper cleaning as per the schedule that can lead into a compressor failure but this is again so who somebody has to really 
take care of this now. Then refrigerant overcharge. Some, sometimes people know uh, without understanding, without uh, checking anything, even overcharge also can lead into a liquid, uh, liquid return back into the compressor. Okay. Then improper metering device, oversized metering device, everything can cause into liquid flooding back. Okay. Here are you me? When the liquid come, keep on liquid uh, flooding, liquid aate, 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 aate. So, kya hoga? Refrigerant is, uska density jada hai. So, amesha jake, oil ke niche settle ho jayega. So, jabhi, whenever we start compressor next time, then along, is, along with the, the liquid and the refrigerant, dono sort, it will just Forming both and up, yeah, they're getting a side glass. Okay, it's forming with If they don't know milk, then it comes back into the compressor, then it can damage the whole thing because it is completely liquid. Our oil put together coming back into our system. It is uh, it recipe, be a scroll, be a coibi. Everything it is there when the liquid is there in the compressor, this can damage this now. So you can see when after dynamic dilution, chaos and liquid, everybody knows liquid refrigerant is a beautiful cleaning agent. Either be wherever it is go, it can clean it. So when liquid goes along with this, along with the oil, so other liquid hai, aada oil hai, So when it is going to the bearing surface, kya hoga? Jo oil pada rahega, uska wo bhi wo wash karke nikal nikal ke leke jata hai. Ye. That is why it is. We see that every shining, agar ab dekhenge, so we can see that it is already cleaned entire oil, and so metal to metal contact ho raha hai. So this is where a simple liquid coming back into the compressor can damage the entire compressor now. The third I say slugging. This slugging means what? Slugging is nothing but this is the first time it was coming back liquid. That means refrigerant liquid. This is now one and along with the liquid and oil put together, both of them will come together. So that is the deadliest weapon, deadly dangerous for any compressor within no time. The compressor can break, the piston can break, the screws can break, everything can break because that's a heavy load for the compressor. You see that now. You can see this. This is a, the real result of uh, slugging. Okay. So, kya ho sakte reasons maybe over speed or under speed. That means it's we call hunting both. Hai. So that means the we low 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 speed speed mein the udhar jaake oil udhar pada rahega evaporator mein. In the next cycle, mein, a pura liquid along with the, uh, the uh, oil, don't know, start me, okay, compressor mein fail. Ho jate. Uh, the fourth one we talk about the contaminant. This everybody knows contaminant means any contaminant because all compressors are very precision compressors. This tolerance is ka dono agar bearing or iska beach baarenge, tau we bolte hain. Tau, tau, matlab ek inch me ek ajar ka. Itna hai iska between the bearings and the uh, shafts. So it, it, when it's not tolerance may have all the scrolls, impellers and everything assembled in very, very good tolerance. This may e, koi bhi a contaminant, that even one small dust, one, one small uh, one metal piece, everything goes, that is enough to damage the compressors now. This is where during erection, we always, everybody is to take care of the complete cleaning of the the uh, liquid line, uh, the, um, sorry, copper line or anything, whatever they use for the, uh, the assembly. So those should be pakka clean and they should have filters in the in the circuit and that filter should be properly clean or and monitored during the operation that we can see later. <clears throat> so air, so we know that air can uh, really do damages to our uh, the system because apna system may only refrigerant should be there. We should not have any. We both have non condensable both time air, nitrogen, jo agar kuch reh gaya system mein, that is enough to damage your compressor because when air under gaya, so because it's it is lighter in weight, refrigerant thoda jada vajan hai. So lighter in weight, na air, nitrogen, to ye pura condenser ke upar bar jayega. So wo matlab 100% mein ye non condensable rahega, so that around 20 to percent it will not work as a condenser because it cannot condense that it cannot transfer there so that is why we still always do a pakka vacuum why we are telling dehydration pakka we should do during initial case because koi bhi aisa rahega, air or nitrogen can damage systems in the long run <clears throat> immediately never but in the long run continuously 
moisture aapko maloom hai any moisture into our system we are talking about in terms of uh, ppm bolte hai ppm matlab a, a parts per million itna bhi nahi hona chahiye maximum it is 50 my, my, my micron is allowed in in the in an oil uh, so imagine zero or 99.95% is the uh, refrigerant ka uh, purity hai to usme agar agar apan barabar नहीं किया और थोड़ा रह गया और समवेयर लीकिंग हो रहा है सो नेचुरली इफ एनी मॉइस्चर मैजिक मॉइस्चर और रेफ्रिजरेंट दोनों मिलके इट कैन फॉर्म एज अ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड ये दोनों पक्का डेंजरस आपको मालूम है बिकॉज इट देन इट कैन फॉर्म एन एसिड फर्दर इट कैन डैमेज वाइंडिंग और इट कैन डैमेज दी कंप्लीटली इंटरनल कॉपर सो इट्स अ चेन रिएक्शन सो That is where अगर वेन एवर आप हम लोग कुछ कंप्रेसर फेल हो गया सो देन बी इमीडिएटली इमीडिएटली लगाओ फटाफट लगाओ देन विद इन नो टाइम यू कैन सी रिपीट फेलियर वाई रिपीट फेलियर होता है बिकॉज वंस कंप्रेसर फेल्ड देर आर सो मेनी इंटरनल डिब्रीज और इंटरनल बोन आउट रेजिडी बोलते हैं वो ऐसा रह जाएगा वो इफ यू डोंट प्रॉपरली क्लीन इट इफ यू डोंट क्रश इट एंड इफ यू डोंट रिमूव ऑल दो थिंग्स okay within no time that becomes choke in the uh, fry in the in the dryer or it can even damage the compressors so we should take care during the recommissioning this is what practically we have seen this okay you can see sometime kuch copper plating bolta hai ye copper matlab koi whenever apan khol ke dekh lenge damage hone ke you can see shiny copper this this is nothing but uh, the moisture is there already in the system because it's like electro plating bolta hai so it can remove from the copper wo nikal ke higher temperature ke dare compressor mein compressor ko deposit karega so this is indication moisture inside the system this is again indication the moisture because it, it can eat away any damn thing so non condensable both the copper plating because of the higher discharge temperature that can lead into this now so foreign debris we i was telling out kya bolte hain par ek tau less than ek tau so the clearances said agar ye ek Chota bhi debris and after spoiler compressors. <clears throat> the other another major problem which can be is overheating. Overheating is nothing but kya bolte hain? The apna compressor ka taakat itna hi. Matlab this flow can do from 75 psi or agar R22 or maybe R35 psi if it is a 134. From there it can go up to maybe 120 or maybe that is the design. <clears throat> Ye compressor mein. बिकॉज ऑफ दो रीजन कारण हो सकता है ये कंप्रेसर ओवरलोड हो गया एक है लो सक्शन दूसरा है हाई डिस्चार्ज अगर दोनों हो गया जमा नो बडी कैन उसको नो बडी कैन प्रिवेंट इट नो बडी कैन सेव इम सो लो सक्शन देन डिजाइन हायर डिस्चार्ज देन द डिजाइन कैन लीड इन टू ओवर हीटिंग कैसा है बिकॉज वी आर हम लोग बोलते हैं कंप्रेसर को भाई तो नॉर्मली 35 फाइव टू वन थर्टी करने के पहले वेन इट इज सक्शन इज लो मे बी फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फाइव आई एम टेलिंग टू गो इन टू इन वन थर्टी आई एम टेलिंग इन टू डिस्चार्ज वो वन फिफ्टी तो इट इज वर्किंग ऑन ओवरलोड कंडीशन नेचुरली हाई डिस्चार्ज टेम्परेचर रहेगा एंड हाई डिस्चार्ज कंप्लीटली वर्किंग नाउ आवर कंप्रेसर्स आर कोल्ड बाय रेफ्रिजरेंट गैस रिटर्न गैस naturally when the return gas is not also getting heating up now thereby heat, uh, completely this is called we call compression ratio <coughs> so any when we are going to look at it the compressor if you see this kind of highly polished high uh, discolorization we can know it's because of overheating because only reason is there high compression ratio dono karan ek ek high discharge hai low suction bas itna hi so we have seen that koi bhi compressor hai maximum discharge line temperature goes beyond 225 then we becomes a decomposition matlab the refrigerant compressor refrigerant ka decomposition next next level hai so we should not allow it na tak nahi jana chahiye now this is uh, what we are telling here compression ratio normal jo so 15 se itna jayega but when the moment is suction thoda kam jayega the compression ratio jyada padega so we are telling in the in the ratio how it from 20 to 16 psi normally uh, air cooled uh, compressor it around 3.5 to 4.5 but if that ratio is become 6 so naturally 
यू आर आस्किंग दंप्रेसर को ज्यादा काम करने के लिए बोलते हैं Then comes to electrical. Okay, we always immediately pay. कोई भी fail हो गया चलो उसको डाल दो. Electrical है और mechanical है. That is the reason. But that we are putting in the last one. Yes, वो भी हो सकता है. ये भी कारण है sometimes. But these are all <coughs> very sometimes if you don't really properly uh, select correct size. अगर if you don't properly do proper maintenance or अगर इन केस मेंटेनेंस मींस इवन चैटरिंग चैटरिंग क्यों आ रहा है देयर समवेयर कुछ स्लूस कनेक्शन है दिस आर ऑल द थिंग व्हिच नॉर्मली वी शुड टेक केयर इन आवर प्रॉपर मेंटेनेंस सो इफ यू डू दैट एंड अगर इफेक्टिव ऑपरेशन कैसे बोलते हैं आई ऑलवेज टेल इन द ट्रबल शूटिंग जो आप कौन है चिलर और कोई भी सिस्टम के पास पास हमेशा खड़ा रहता है ऑपरेटर है सो ही इज द द बेस्ट मैन हु नोस क्या हो रहा है इसको सिस्टम ही इसका I Amesha I always tell God has given five important tools to us so if everybody knows kya hai one is hand nose ear eye baad mein dimag okay ye these are all god given jan jab apan fayda hua immediately god has given to us when we when we started learning 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 you can use this फाइव टूल्स बिफोर गोइंग इन टू हाई टेक टेक्नोलॉजी है वो है वेलामीटर है ये सब ठीक है बाद में डाल देंगे आजकल हंड्रेड न्यू इंस्ट्रूमेंट कम बट आज स्टिल अभी भी है वेटरन्स अभी भी है तो जाके टच करके बोलता है यार ये तो ओवर चार्ज हो गया देर आर मेनी पीपल हु कैन जस्ट हियरिंग द कंप्रेसर है ये लिक्विड इज कमिंग हो रहा है सो दो थिंग्स बाय सींग बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग बाय स्मेलिंग बाई एनालाइजिंग यू कैन इमीडिएटली find out whether this compressor is working higher higher load or not now but this we have to develop ourselves now so you can see these are all the electrical which can lead into the failures so uh, preventing the repeat failures kya bolte hai improve the maintenance now keep accurate records kyun because wo trend malum padta hai apan ko ye ek ye suction kitna tak why how many days when it is started going low ये डिस्चार्ज क्यों इतना ऊपर जाते रहते हैं कब कब से देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट व्हाई द डिस्चार्ज गोस मीन दैट कुड बी समवेयर सम अदर कारण है मे बी वाटर वाटर फ्लो में बी लेस और द स्केलिंग ऑलरेडी फॉर्मड अंदर अंदर है देयर आर मेनी रीजन बट इफ यू वंस यू फाइंड आउट दिस आर ऑल द रीजन इफ यू हैव रिकॉर्ड इमीडिएटली वी कैन फाइंड आउट सो इसका कारण निकाल के वी कैन मेक दिस सिस्टम ऑल राइट नाउ द स्टार्टअप प्रोसीजर इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कोई भी एनी एनी न्यू चिलर एनी सिस्टम्स और एनी छोटा सिस्टम भी है Mini initial startup process is very very important, including the the flushing the system, then completely checking the water quality. There are many things which can lead into the cataractic uh, effect of this leading to compressor failure. This knowledge system knowledge होना चाहिए. This particular thing क्या disk क्या design करके रखा है. How much it can we can load maximum overload. <clears throat> the same thing improving the diagnostic skills now. इमीडिएटली यू हैव टू एलिमिनेट ये इसका कारण ये नहीं है अच्छा दूसरा है क्या इसका नहीं है देन दूसरा है सो इमीडिएटली दी प्रोबेबल कास्ट बोल के बोलता है वो निकाल के देन यू शुड गो टू द रियल रूट कास्ट बिफोर इट गोस इनटू द फेलियर मोड देन कभी भी व्हेनेवर अगर कुछ हो गया अगर अनफॉर्चूनेटली फेल हो गया देन वी नीड टू रियली इंस्पेक्ट द कंप्रेसर एंड दैट कैन गिव सम रिजल्ट टू अस सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट नाउ वी कैन इफ यू टेक अ करेक्टिव एक्शन देन रिपीट रिपीट failures can be prevented now okay if the compressor failed and the cause is not been determined both time they eliminated the replacement compressor is zarur fail hoga there is no doubt about it this is where we need to really take care of all these seven things which before we replace anything always oil go as per the manufacturer's recommendation hai to itna maintain hona chahiye iska at least once in a year oil lubrication oil ka एनालिसिस कर लेना देर आर लेबोरेटरी है अवेलेबल एवरीवेयर इज देयर तो साल में एक बार ये थोड़ा निकाल के दे देंगे सो दे विल गिव कंप्लीटली एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस तो ये है स्टैंडर्ड है और ये है कारण मालूम होता है मॉइस्चर एनीथिंग गोस बियॉन्ड 100 है तो दैट इज इंडिकेशन है अपना सिस्टम में का समवेयर लीक है और आई हैव नॉट डन प्रॉपर वैक्यूमेशन इनिशियली क्लोराइड फ्लोराइड ज्यादा हो रहा है सो दैट मींस दैट मींस दैट माय दैट द रेफ्रिजरेशन क्वालिटी इज बैड टैन बोलते हैं टोटल एज इट नंबर तो इसका द मोमेंट इट इज स्टार्टेड इंक्रीजिंग तो मालूम पड़ गया अपन को तो इसको अंदर है समवेयर मॉइस्चर इज ऑलरेडी मिक्स्ड एंड केमिकल रिएक्शन चालू हो गया आयर्स आयर्स ऑल आर इंडिकेशंस 
copper jada ho gaya so that means now so that means it is removing the copper and coming back depositing somewhere tin aluminium kabhi bhi apna uh, aluminium based bearings hota hai <clears throat> so wo jada pad gaya so that means so worn out that means that this uh, bearings are getting worn out so these are all indications hai. same as viscosity very important uh, tool that that is where the lubrication quality in, uh, on decompressed oil so ye iska ye itna parameter whatever recommendation based on that people should based on manufacturers we should try to maintain keep a record of this same way if in the water water is very 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 important especially in the water cooled uh, chillers maybe water cooled chillers especially both condenser water bhi hai chill water hai dono so when whenever to the customer we have to tell the customer sir this is what we it is better to do it now otherwise what will happen uh, there is no other alternative at least then do the descaling right in time or if it is there if you can prevent it aajkal itna hai we have uh, many new things have come aajkal now which can we cannot allow the even to scale to form inside because any scale inside forming both condenser ba or cooler way dono it is going to give the uh, inefficiency of the systems any inefficiency of this compressor in the cooler and the condenser going to result into the compressor so this clearly right from the beginning of the commissioning if you keep this record if you track this apan ko absolutely we know that where we are currently running now whether एक साल के बाद मेरे को स्केलिंग करने का डिस्केलिंग करने का है और एवरी थ्री मंथ्स को करने का है ये दिस रिजल्ट विल टेल यू सो प्लीज कमिशनिंग करने के बाद इमीडिएटली आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स थर्ड मंथ्स सो टेक द वाटर सैंपल कीप इट विथ यू एनालिस एंड कीप इट विथ यू इफ एनीथिंग इज बियॉन्ड रिकमेंडेशन है तो एटलीस्ट वाटर जो डेफिनेटली एवरी इंडस्ट्रीड पीपल आर मेंटेनिंग दी वाटर ट्रीटमेंट तो एटलीस्ट ब्रिंग इट टू द नॉलेज तो करेक्टिव एक्शन पहले कर सकते हैं फेल होने के बाद नहीं पहले सो दिस इज वेयर रिकमेंडेड दिस इज नॉर्मल पीपल बी डूइंग इट नाउ सो प्लस आर माइनस वी कैन डू इट नाउ सो एवरी कंप्रेसर्स व्हेन एवर जब भी डिजाइन करने के टाइम दे ऑलवेज टेल इसको बोलते हैं अपना ये ग्राफ है इसका अंदर ही होना चाहिए कभी भी इसका टेंपरेचर है ऑपरेट टेंपरेचर इज गोस बियॉन्ड दिस टेंपरेचर ऑटोमेटिकली वी आर मेकिंग इट टू ऑपरेट ऑन अ हायर ओवरलोड कंडीशंस नाउ सो दिस इज वेयर अपन बोलते हैं कीप दी रिकॉर्ड लॉक बुक क्यों अपन बोलते हैं तो ये अगर है तो जब भी कभी भी दी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंजीनियर्स और सर्विस इंजीनियर जब भी आएंगे वो वो देखने के टाइम मालूम पड़ता है ये 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 अच्छा दिस इज गॉन बियॉन्ड द लिमिट सो प्लीज ट्राई टू ब्रिंग इट टू द नॉर्मल लेवल सो ये भी अपन को मालूम होना चाहिए दिस इज एनवल अप बोलते हैं कंप्रेसर एनवल अप तो इसका अंदर ही होना चाहिए कंप्लीटली सो How we can do now? All, amesha, I'm bola me. Two heat exchanger apna condenser hai, cooler hai. It could be air cooled or water cooled. The major important is dono clean hona chahiye. Whatever it may be, inside or outside. Air cooled means outside. If it is a uh, water cooled means inside. Ye pakka cleaning hona chahiye. I mean, because aaj kal the manufacturers are making a beautiful heat exchangers. Ye sab itna ex under uh, rotating. ग्रूड है ऑल दो सिंह का अगर स्केल फॉर्म हो गया विद इन नो टाइम विद इन तीन चार महीने में अपना पूरा टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट एफिशियंट गया सो इफ यू देन अगेन यू टू डू स्केलिंग बट स्पेशली को अगर ज्यादा साल्ट है स्पेशली ऑन दी वी कॉल्ड सिलिका अगर सिलिका जम गए अंदर वी कैन सी दैट पीपल वी कैन सी वेरी पॉलिश्ड सिलिका इन साइड ए ट्यूब दैट इंडिकेट सिलिका साल्ट इज एयर That is very deadly, dangerous salt. You cannot remove it. अगर इसको remove करने के लिए even as it as it be अगर गरम करके डाल के निकालना पड़ेगा. तो ये सब है we can avoid. So especially check the system loading and unloading. Ensure the design. Sub cooling is very very important. Super heat is properly maintained because अपना compressor all most all the compressor are cooled by return suction. Especially semi hermetic compressors. Okay. So इसको then If the return gas, if it is proper, if not warm or warm, or gaya, so naturally, if one come uh, winding, winding will warm. Naturally, if one compressor be working on higher load in that case. So this, if two per, two parameter, always uh, log book me record on a chain. Then man, monthly and annual preventively, if you are doing or maybe uh, manufacturing doing, but you should standardly, properly 
manufacturing, we have to do that continuously in a religious manner. <coughs> do's and don'ts, some, do not pump down both. Screw school compression may never be used to pump down. Pump down is different, it's different. There are evacuating kit, it's everything. Even the vacuum pump, hai. you should never use screw compressor because screw cannot function, do that function of evacuation. It will, within no time, catastrophic failure can happen. It can seize the screws. Do not use it. Use only a recovery unit now. And oil filters recommended. Manufacturers always recommend now. First thousand hours ke baat immediately clean uh, nikal dena because whatever it is that debris immediately after flushing kuch aayega. Once you do that, then future kali apska pressure up dekhe hamesha between the uh, inlet and outlet of the filters. Agar jada ho gaya as per the recommendation, replace it. <clears throat> Otherwise, you can let it be as it is now. When changing the oil, avoid exposed to the moisture because they're all hydroscopic uh, oil, hai, so we should be very carefully used at that curve. So uh, low SST is not an indication of low represent charge, especially when oil foaming occurs inside the cooler. I was telling that cooler oil, uh, when the uh, foaming is there inside, that we need to really look for that. <clears throat> Khabibi, never apply a mega on the motor winding when the system is under vacuum it can lead into the failure of the motor winding. Use only high vacuum pump, agar ballast, the two stage both time. So, hamesha wo use kar lena because uh, when generally all the manufacturers will recommend for minimum 500 micron vacuum for a system <clears throat> to keep that all moisture out of the system so that now compressor is working clear. But the moment if vacuum, if you use a single vacuum pump, it cannot pull down up to 500. So naturally, you will be at least 200, 2000 micron. So thought about condensing, non condensable set. So please use FACA uh, vacuum pumps. Always circulate water on both the heat technique, if it is chiller, removing the gas. Otherwise, tubes can freeze and it can lead into tube failure. Many places we have seen this. You can avoid this because one, agar pani under gaya, it like a cancer. Agar, it, it, once pani inside gaya in the system, we know it's very difficult. I think all the senior veterans and uh, the service engineers will tell that now, how difficult to remove the moisture from the system. It's very difficult. More than sometimes it takes one month also to remove the entire system. Always keep the oil heater in non condition if it is designed because Higher the temperature in the compressor oil, <clears throat> the oil miscibility will become less. So that is why we always use the oil. Hamesha uh, garam rakha. Circulate only safe chemicals while descaling the condenser because so agar jada uh, acid be hai, that can also eat away your condenser tubes. So we hamesha rotating brush use kar lena when you do the descaling because internally aajkal high efficiency tubes are internally grooved. So log all the readings, keep it, it will be helpful for the troubleshooting for when they see and the experts comes there. Closely monitor vital parameters, you should, uh, the operator can see it now. Take immediate corrective action, if somewhere there is something wrong, so immediately take a uh, uh, corrective action, do not wait till failure. Keep your ears calm, tune to the machine operation since most of the breakdowns do not occur immediately. It gives a lot of indication, lot of uh, um, then only completely failure. If you take corrective action right from the beginning, no failure, all the failures can be prevented now. Modern compass, modern chillers, modern machines are a microprocess driven. So, wait for it. Oh, it always tell pale alert they denge. Agar alert mein, agar kuch, uh, we are not taking corrective action, then it alarm. Next it will go to alarm. It will not wait for us. Okay. So even in spite of that failing mean <clears throat> that mean um jake uskam ye bhi reset karke keep on short 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 short. Uh, any compressor will fail. There is no doubt about it. So other kuch indication karta hai. So we need to find out why it is failed, why it is tripping. Wo karke, uska karan nikal ke, iske baad, then once it is, you know that we take a corrective action, preventive action, then you do it now. Otherwise, if you do research, start it immediately, no, nothing can prevent, it can fail. So be attentive, especially on alert and alarm. 
So follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Never bypass any safety controls. Safety controls is only to safe to safeguard the uh, equipment. Agar uska bypass karenge, so we know the results now. So never ever do it now. Even if it's not urgent, hai, at least agar kuch hai, at least talk to the experts, take their suggestions, helps. Then you do whatever based on their advice. Update your knowledge by participating in OEM training. There are people, manufacturers giving training, session like through like history training like this. Upgrade your knowledge always. It always help you. It, it like a, agar, uh, you, you are you have the big equipment, weapons. Agar ja ke fight karenge, you should have weapon. The weapon is your knowledge. If we have it, agar apan ja ke koi bhi troubleshoot kar sakte hai, and we can uh, prevent many failures well in advance. And uh, I was telling now, after God's given tools fail on a bath, or do not wait, wait that much time. Once you know that, okay, it gives some indication, immediately use there are very good diagnostic tools available. So you can use this to find out other repeat failure. I can use power analysis to check the electrical barabare. Or I can check with the thermal scanner now what is the condition of my electrical systems. There are many things. Please use that high technology systems. Always, always be safe. Use proper PPE, protect personal protective equipment. Then only you should touch anything, be electrical, be it refrigerant, be it is oil or everything. You should properly handle it so that now safety is very, very important to everybody's life. Thank you for your participation now. Thank you very much. That's all from Oren Ram. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, I, I, I think uh, there may be some questions from our attendees today. Okay. And uh, is there any question? May he may raise hand? Yeah. Sir, can I ask one question? Yeah, please. Sir. If a mega applied on the motor winding when the system is under vacuum, what will happen, sir? We record a, a, cor a corona effect. It means okay. when the when you apply the the voltage when it is passing through the windings, okay, there is nothing to prevent there. Matlab, do, uh, normal megaring me or jada when when we do with an under the evacuation condition, that in vacuum condition, may <clears throat> there is an arc. Arc, arc is uh, creating both that. So okay. Arc is creating. So that will damage the winding to winding. But short, short, ho jata hai. Many places we have seen that now. That is why never ever apply. Agar agar chahiye apko magaring karne ka zero pressure kar lena. Zero pressure karne ke baad kar lena. No problem. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Is there any another question from attendees? Please ask. I think there is no question from attendees. Now I would like to invite Mr. Kapil Megrani, uh, our uh, from Jaipur chapter, uh, for vote of thanks. Uh, Mr. Kapil, hello. Yes, I am audible. Yeah, Mr. Kapil. Uh, yes, uh, please uh, welcome and uh, please uh, give your yeah. vote of thanks for today's uh, DL. Sure, sir, sure. So it's a privilege, uh, Mr. Ganeshan, sir, that uh, you have given a very wonderful presentation on the compression. It was a very required field. I, Kapil Migrani, the Secretary of History of Jaipur Chapter, uh, greet you, thanks you from all the CWC team. Uh, 
for uh, giving us this presentation. It was a long awaited DL program we are looking for. It is well required by the industry professionals, mostly in the field of the service. So also I would like to thank uh, Mr. Vinny Shah from Vadodara RAS chapter that is uh, Refreshing in air conditioning uh, sector specific uh, service sector society. So thanks uh, for them joining all the members from Vadodara as well, as well as from Jaipur, Jodhpur and Vadodara. All the history members and non-history members, thanks to all who have attended the program. And thanks to our president, Mr. Kishan Khatri, who have uh, coordinated well with the Ganesham sir and uh, organized this program. So thanks to all for making it a good session and it was a valuable session. Soon we'll share all the recording regarding the webinar on our uh, YouTube channel as taken by the consent of Kaneshan. Thank you very much Kapil. It's, it's a privilege. Uh, I think uh, the sharing the knowledge is always uh, a good thing in our industry. That is where Ishra is really working out day and night. So yeah. I'm very happy to share whatever we have learned in our so many Thanks years. for your contributions and definitely we'll look uh, for a physical uh, session by you some uh, in the next year at Jaipur. So we'll definitely invite you whenever the situation gets over in the pandemic. Definitely. God will help us. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All, all right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye to all. Okay. Bye to all.